Friends, today's video is about CBCT and Earth Fault Relay. Through this video, we are going to learn three things. In this, first is what is CBCT and Earth Fault Relay and how it works. After this, we will learn how to do connection of CBCT and Earth Fault Relay. Finally, at last, we will learn how to do testing of CBCT and Earth Fault Relay. So friends, watch this video till the last and if you like this video, don't forget to share this video with your friends. Let us first understand why we use CBCT and Earth Fault Relay. We use CBCT and Earth Fault Relay for protection from Earth Fault. What is Earth Fault? Let's discuss something about this. Suppose this is an electrical equipment. Phase supply coming to this is somehow touched with the body. This is what we call Earth Fault. Similarly, if a man somehow touched the phase supply, we can call this also as Earth Fault. Now what happen if a man touch this wire in which phase supply is flowing then what will happen he will encounter with an electric shock. To remain safe from this electric shock and protection from fire due to earth fault we use CBCT and earth fault relay. Now what is CBCT let's understand this. Full form of CBCT is core balance current transformer. CBCT is a type of current transformer but in this only secondary winding is done. Inside of this CBCT, we pass the power cable. So this power cable will work as a primary winding. In one way, we can say that this CBCT is a type of sensing device. When earth fault occurs, current starts flowing in secondary winding and this current is given to relay. Friends, this is a CBCT and this is a single phase motor. To run this motor, phase supply is going to this motor from inside of CBCT. This is our phase wire and this is our neutral wire. Now suppose this motor consumes 10 ampere current. Through this wire, 10 ampere current is flowing. Now what will happen from this wire, 10 ampere current is going and in return 10 ampere current is coming. Due to this, magnetic field which is generating here is of 0 ampere. In this CBCT, from secondary terminal, current will not flow. Now let us suppose in this motor somehow earth fault occurs. This neutral wire is touched with body of motor. Due to this, some current will flow in body also. So 10 ampere current is going and in return, 10 ampere current through this neutral wire must come back in normal condition. But here, earth fault occurred. What happened in this condition is, some current is flowing here and some current is going through neutral wire. Suppose through neutral wire, 7 ampere current is coming in return. It means, now there is a difference of 3 ampere current. 3 ampere current is going to the body of motor. Now 3 ampere current difference is there and due to this, this CBCT will sense this 3 ampere current. And from secondary terminal of CBCT, 3 ampere current starts flowing. We will provide this current to relay. Now let us look at 3 phase system. What happen in this, in normal condition, no current flowing through the secondary winding. But when earth fault occurs, then from secondary terminals S1 and S2, current starts flowing. And when this current starts flowing, then it goes to earth fault relay. And what earth fault relay will do, it will trip the circuit breaker. So both these are earth leakage relay. What is earth leakage relay? See, it is a type of protection device. When electrical fault or earth fault occurs, then it will trip the circuit breaker. We use earth fault relay in MCCB, in ACB, for motor and for other electrical equipments also. Now friends, what all things are there in earth leakage relay, let's understand this. Look, this is a knob for setting fault current. In this, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 1, 3, 5, 10, 20 and 30 is given. If we want to trip the circuit at 30 mA, then what we will do, we will set this knob at 0.3. Similarly, if we want this relay to trip at 1 ampere, then we will set this at 1 ampere. For 5 ampere, set on 5. At 30 ampere, if we want to trip the circuit breaker, then we will set at 30. Similarly, different values are given. There is one more function in this. This knob here is given to set delay time. Through this knob, we can set that relay here after how much time it will trip the circuit breaker. Suppose we set this knob at 1 ampere and we set this knob at 0. What happen is the moment 1 ampere current starts flowing in secondary, Instantly, this relay will trip the circuit breaker. But if we set this knob at 0.6, then what will happen? After earth fault, this relay will wait for some time. How much? Here for 60 milliseconds, it will wait. 
if within this 60 milliseconds this fault current is stopped that is 1 ampere current which is flowing through CBCT if it stops within 60 milliseconds then this relay will not operate. It means it will not trip the circuit breaker. But if time of 60 milliseconds is completed then this relay will trip the breaker. So what we do through this knob we set current and through this after how much time relay will trip the breaker. Now what is this? You can call this as test push button or reset push button. When this relay will generate earth fault command then you have to reset it and to reset you have to press this push button. Now this indication here this is on indication. When this relay turn on then this green indication glows. Similarly as per the fault current to indicate this these indications are provided here. Suppose we set this knob at 10 ampere that is at 10 ampere current this relay will trip the breaker and through CBCT 3 ampere current is flowing. Now this relay will not turn off the circuit breaker because we set 10 ampere here. What will happen here? Here indication of 30% fault current will glow. This indication will glow because here we set 10 ampere current before and only 30% fault current of this is flowing. So this indication will glow. Similarly if fault current goes to 45% then indication of 45% will glow. If goes to 60% then indication of 60% will glow. And similarly if fault current goes to 10 ampere that is 100% then earth fault will happen. If earth fault occurs then this indication will glow. It generates the earth fault command. Moment this indication glows breaker will trip. Friends in this some terminals are given 15, 16 and 18. 15 number terminal is a common terminal, 16 number terminal is NC contact and this 18 number terminal is NO contact. Similarly one more contact is given in this 25 and 28 are NO contact. One more terminal is there this is our Y1 terminal and this one is Y2 terminal. If we want to reset this relay remotely that is through a push button we want to reset it then what we do we connect one wire here and one wire here. Now when we press push button then this relay gets reset. Similarly to operate this relay we give power supply. At L1 phase supply and at L2 neutral supply. After this B1 and B2 terminal here. At B1 terminal we connect wire from S1 terminal of CBCT and at B2 we connect wire from S2. Ok now to trip this motor in earth fault condition how to do the connections let's understand this. First of all what we will do here we will install the CBCT and this is our ELR relay. What we did just now from outgoing terminals of overload relay power supply which was going that is cable to motor we pass this from inside of CBCT. Ok then let's see how to do connection. First of all we will place a MCB of control supply. At incoming terminal of MCB connect power supply. Now from outgoing terminal of this MCB that is this terminal connect a wire with this terminal and connect this directly with 15 number terminal. 15 number terminal is common terminal. Now what we will do this relay we have NC contact of this that is from 16 number terminal connect a wire and in this overload relay with 95 number terminal connect this wire. See why we used NC contact here let's understand about this. Relay remains in normal condition when there is no earth fault. Then control supply flows directly from here through NC contact it goes forward. But when this relay sends earth fault then what happen is NC contact will become NO. So control supply which was coming it will stop here it will not flow further. Due to this our contactor will turn off. So what we did from 16 number terminal we connected wire to 95 number terminal of overload relay. Now what we will do this 96 number terminal here this is NC contact of overload relay. Connect a wire from here and in this stop push button with incoming terminal connect this wire. Now what we will do from outgoing terminal of stop push button connect a wire and with incoming terminal of start push button connect this wire. Now in this start push button from outgoing terminal that is from here connect a wire and with A1 terminal of contactor connect this wire. Now see when we press start push button contactor will turn on but it will not hold because we didn't made holding circuit here. For holding circuit from outgoing terminal of stop push button and from incoming terminal of start push button connect wires with these terminals. 
and connect this wire with anode contact of contactor. So from here, connect a wire and connect this with anode contact. We provided incoming supply to this anode contact. When contactor turn on, it will pick up. When it will pick up, supply will come to this point. And from here, we will connect this supply with A1 terminal. So I connected wire from here to A1 terminal. Now what will happen, when we press start push button, this contactor will turn on. And when this is turned on, NO contact will become NC and control supply will flow from here and goes to A1 terminal. Even if we release this push button, this contactor won't turn off. Now what we will do, at A2 terminal of contactor, connect neutral supply. Connect a wire with this neutral wire and connect with A2 terminal. So to operate this relay, at L1 terminal and at L2 terminal, we have to provide phase and neutral supply. To provide phase supply at L1 terminal, from outgoing terminal of this MCB, connect a wire and connect this wire with L1 terminal. Now we have to provide neutral supply to L2 terminal. Through this neutral wire, connect the neutral supply. So to this relay, we provided control supply. Now B1 and B2 terminals here, we will do connection of CBCT with these. How to do it? Look here. First of all, connect a wire from here and connect this wire with B1 terminal. So from S1 terminal, we connected a wire to B1 terminal. Similarly, connect a wire from S2 terminal and connect this with B2 terminal. Now this relay here will get command from CBCT. So let us connect this indication lamp also, so that we get to know that motor got tripped. To connect this earth fault indication, what we do, this terminal here, 18 number terminal, we can use this also, as well as this 25 number terminal and 28 number terminal, we can use this also. So I am using 25 and 28 number terminals. Connect a wire from here and connect directly with 25 number terminal. Now what happened, this 25 number terminal is our anode contact. Incoming supply is provided to this. When this relay will generate earth fault command, this anode contact will become NC. So to this 28 number terminal, power supply will come. By connecting a wire from this 28 number terminal to this indication lamp at one terminal, connect this wire. This indication lamp has received phase supply. Now neutral supply is left. What we will do from this neutral wire, connect a wire and connect this with this indication lamp. So this indication lamp has received power supply. From here phase supply and from here neutral supply. When earth fault occurs, this indication lamp will glow. Now friends, this Y1 terminal and Y2 terminal here, here we connect reset push button. So this is our reset push button. Now what we will do, connect a wire from here and at one side of reset push button, connect this wire. Now from other side, connect another wire and with Y2 terminal, connect this wire. Now when earth fault occurs and we want to reset, then we will press this reset push button. Relay will get reset then. So friends, in this way, through a CBCT and a relay, to trip a motor when earth fault occurs, we do connection in this way. Now how to test this ELR, let's understand this. So what we do to test ELR, this B1 and B2 here, we short these terminals. Now what we will do in this relay, at L1 terminal, we will provide phase supply and at L2, neutral supply. Through multimeter, here we will check this 15 number terminal, 16 number terminal and 18 number terminal, we will check these. At 15 and 16, there must be NC and 15 and 18 must be anode contact. Similarly, at 25 number and 28 number terminal, it must be anode contact. When we turn on power supply, this indication lamp here starts glowing. Now what we will do through multimeter, we do continuity test. In continuity test, at 15 and 16, NC contact must be there. And at 15 and 18, ANO must be there. Similarly, at 25 and 28, ANO contact must be there. Now what we will do, this loop we connected before at B1 and B2, we will take out this loop. In this condition, what will happen, earth fault indication will start glowing. And this relay here, it will give earth fault command. After this, this 15 and 16 number terminals, which are NC contact, will become ANO contact. If we test now through multimeter, then it will show this 15 and 16 number terminals as ANO contact. Similarly, if you check 15 and 18 number terminal now, then it will show NC contact. And this 25 and 28 number terminals which were NO before, it will show NC now. So in this way, we can test ELR. 
that whether this ELR is working properly or not. Now see how through CBCT we can test ELR. To test CBCT and earth fault together, what we will do at L1 terminal place supply and at L2 terminal we will provide neutral supply. Connect a wire from S1 terminal of CBCT and connect with P1 terminal. Similarly through a wire connect S2 terminal with B2 terminal. Now what we have to do, we have to create earth fault. That is, we want this CBCT to sense earth fault. How this CBCT can sense it, take any electrical equipment here. Suppose we took a bulb here. Take phase wire of bulb and pass it inside of CBCT and take neutral wire from outside. Now what will happen on turning on bulb, current will flow through this wire and come in return from here. Right now inside the CBCT only phase wire is there so the CBCT will sense the current. How much ampere current it will sense as per the load of this bulb. According to load of the bulb at that time this CBCT will sense the current. Due to this from secondary terminal current starts flowing. Current will flow through this wire and goes into this relay. Now this relay will generate earth fault command. To test this CBCT and ELR we have to keep some things in our mind. First is whatever electrical equipment we will connect here only one wire of equipment will go inside of CBCT. Second wire must pass from outside. Due to this it will generate earth fault. Second thing is we have to keep in mind that how much current we set here that is current we set here for earth fault that much current this electrical equipment must consume. Suppose we set 30 milliampere current here. Now current of this bulb must also be at least 30 milliampere. If 30 milliampere current is not there then this relay will not trip. Only it will show percentage that at this percent earth fault is generating. So friends in this way we test CBCT and earth fault relay. Friends I hope you understood that how CBCT and earth fault relay work. How to do wiring of these and finally how to test CBCT and earth fault relay. Friends if you like this video then please give like share and comment on this video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching this video.